All right, so I'm in Linwood right now because I was actually supposed to film one of the videos for my makeover series at a store over here, but things got a little bit mixed up. So I figured, you know what? We are right next door to Home Goods right now. How can I say no? There's actually a couple things on my list that I'm looking for. I need a new trash can and something else. But I also just wanna look at the holiday decor and see if there's anything good. I'm switching up my theme this year a little bit. I'm doing more of like warm amber kind of colors and tans and golds and stuff. So I wanna get a few things. I've ordered a bunch of stuff online from CB2 and West Elm, but we are gonna head in to the good old goods right there and see what they got. Weird we would do like a shop with me kind of thing. I love shop with me videos. So if you're excited for this video and you enjoy while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. zip time. So Home Goods had a ton of ornaments. I think they had two full rows of different ornaments and I didn't end up getting any from here because I ordered a couple sets online. They had these really cute red, they were almost like an orangey red, like Crusade plate. And I liked how it had the rims. I thought I was gonna get these. I like put them in my cart and then I didn't end up because I just don't need plates or bowls. But if you want some like festive plates, these were super cute. I ended up getting this tree for $14.99. They had tons of Ray Dunn at this location. Seattle always has a ton of it, so I feel like people aren't really into it, but I know in other parts of the country, you guys have said that it's really hard to find and people even like have Facebook groups for it and stuff, which is pretty crazy, but there were some cute ones like a gingerbread and there's that dog one. I don't know, I feel like people just aren't as into it here, but this wreath I was debating getting because I loved how it had the pink, almost like rose gold ornaments on there. I kind of want to look around a couple other stores, but I feel like I do have one spot that I could put another wreath. So I want to see if I find a different one, and if not, I might go back and try and find that same one. But they had a lot of really pretty wreaths. And these stockings, if you're doing like a glam, glitzy, glam kind of, kind of look, these were so beautiful. If they had these in a gold tan color, I totally would have gotten them. They felt like really good quality too. And then I love these plates if you're doing like a cool tone kind of taupe theme. If you're into the marble look, this is perfection. Look at this little pot with the pine cone sticking out, so cute. And then I ended up getting this tall candle holder just to add some height to like my arrangement thing happening. And this little candle holder thing that's made of like a rose gold mercury glass leopard stools people on clearance i don't know if these are at a lot of locations or just this one but 39 bucks for a set i think it's for the set of two and then i loved this lamp i feel like this would work in so many different room styles like this would be a super cool in like a mid-century kind of room i was very tempted to get this but i have nowhere to put a lamp i'm like holding my breath so i don't breathe during this part of the voiceover <laughs> So they had tons of wrapping paper, but actually no cute wrapping paper. Like I couldn't find a single cute one that I liked. They all looked kind of just like, I don't know, typical Christmas wrapping paper. Nothing really stood out. I do like getting those empty boxes though to just put under the tree as like decor. And then I really liked this kind of sparkly wooden tree they had right here. This I fell in love with. This was at the checkout and they had a couple of smaller ones with the white balls on it, but I ended up getting this rose gold fake little bristle tree. Oh wow, great lighting. <laughs> I must be looking real rough today because I was getting some major stairs in there. Yeah, this is the best lighting we're gonna get right now. So I got a few really cute like rose gold tan kind of holiday things, some little trees and stuff. I'll show you guys a haul at the end of this video of everything that I got from here and online and everything, but I'm about to go into Ross because it's right next door and I didn't find a trash can in there. It was weird. All their trash cans were like hella dented. I don't even know how they're selling them and they weren't on clearance either, which was weird. So I'm gonna see if Ross has a trash can and then see if they have any other good home decor stuff. So Ross had a really tiny section in the back of the store with their holiday stuff, which was kind of weird. They didn't have a whole lot, but they had some cute, just like classic looking kind of tree skirts, lots of red. My tree skirt is, I think it's from the Magnolia line at Target from last year, but then I just put a like fuzzy white rug under my tree and that looks really cute. So life hack, use a rug that you already have to kind of put under your tree and it looks really pretty. I did like this kind of champagne gold star thing, but other than that, there wasn't really a whole lot at Ross that stood out to me. I had just some sets of ornaments and stuff. These were pretty, but I didn't like how they had the rainbow glitter on them. If they didn't have the rainbow glitter, I feel like I might have gotten those and put them in like a flower arrangement or something and then leopard robe people you guys I found a leopard robe at Ross for I think it was like 12 bucks so I don't know if they're at all the locations but if you can find one and you wanted a leopard robe shout out to the leopard robe blogs I loved this wall piece I did end up getting this I think it is perfection and it's in my room right now 
This I did like from Ross. This little wood thing I thought was really cute. If it was gold, I would have gotten it, but I felt like the silver wouldn't really go with my whole thing right now. Okay, so I got a few things in Ross. I actually got that palm black print thing. I basically have had this wall that I haven't hung anything on in my bedroom that's like above the chevron kind of wood dresser thing that I think you guys have seen in a few videos. I kind of just want to have like one art piece hung above there. So I think that'll look really cool with the wood and like some, you know, plants and my jewelry stand in front of it. And if it doesn't look good there, it is pretty light. So I might hang it above my bed. I know I took everything down because of the potential giant earthquake in Seattle, but I had like heavy ass shelves above my bed. And I feel like this one is so light that it's probably fine if I hang it above my bed because now there's just like a blank wall right there. But I've also thought about painting that wall behind my bed black. They didn't have a whole lot of Christmas stuff in there. They had like a little bit in the back of the store, but there was nothing in the front of the store. And I feel like I don't know. I feel like they don't have most of their stuff out yet or something, which is weird. I'm going to see what the traffic situation is like because usually coming from Linwood at like three o'clock going back to Seattle is literal hell. But if it's not bad, I might actually stop at the other, either the TJ Maxx by Northgate or the new home goods in Inner Bay and just see if they have anything. So this is kind of like my one day to do all my holiday shopping. Oh, you know what? There's a really good Target over here. Maybe we'll go to Target because we don't have that great of Targets in Seattle. But Linwood, if you are in the Washington area, Linwood has like the best shopping. Like Alderwood Mall area is amazing. So I might go to the Target and there's also a World Market now that I'm remembering. So maybe I'll just do that since I'm already here. It's actually like the beginning of November when I'm filming this or like middle of November. But I go out of town for a few weeks during November and December. So I wanna get like all of my holiday stuff out and done right now so that when I'm back in the middle of December, everything's up and I can like enjoy it for a little bit. This video probably won't be going up for a couple weeks. So I think we're gonna head to maybe World Market. World Market is the place to go for advent calendars, you guys. They had so many cute options that don't look like the typical advent calendars. My boyfriend had mentioned wanting one. So I actually picked up this one for him, which I thought was really cute and kind of like modern looking. And then they had tons of these cute little wooden houses. These ones were a set of three ornaments, but they also had just like standalone ones. And a lot of them also have an LED light in them and they fully light up. I just love the stuff at World Market. I feel like it looks so like simple and classy, but fun too. I loved these like globey kind of tea light holders. And then they had just lots of candles. I like these bark ones. This is good if you want to add like a woody kind of touch to your decor. And then these, I ended up getting two of these. I love these. Look at this little A-frame one. That is so freaking cute. And they light up. And then they had the cute little like trailer signs. Trailer stuff was so popular last year that I thought there was no way that they were going to still have all the trailer stuff this year. But every store pretty much still has trailer stuff, which is kind of funny. But they had tons of little cute different kinds of ornaments too. And lots of like ones that look kind of handmade and sewn and they had these brighter ones which would be fun for like a kid's tree or something but I just love world market I feel like world market is totally underrated for gifts and for decor like they just have so many different kinds of things in their store they have lots of boho kind of decorations these red wood garland bead things would be fun and then look at this tree skirt if you're going for a boho tree go to world market this is so freaking cute this gingerbread trailer house I was tempted to get that. And then these, I feel like, were the find of the century. I want all of these. If you're into the marbled kind of look, how beautiful is this little collection? And then this console table, I do not need one right now, but this was on sale for 329 bucks, and it is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm headed out of World Market, going to get back on the road. They have some good, if you're into just like kind of Nordic, boho style like basic woods and stuff they have some really good ornaments in there and just like basic kind of decor if you're not into like the whole like glitzy glam kind of look and you just like the wood like toned down stuff and they also have really good gift ideas in there i actually got a gift two gifts for people i got a hat they had some good stuff in there but yeah today was a success i'm gonna do a haul in a couple days once my online order gets in so i'll see you guys in a second okay so it's a few days later i got the cb2 order and west elm order in the mail so i'm gonna show you guys what i ordered from those two sites then we're also gonna do a haul from the other day i was planning on putting false lashes on my top which is why the bottom looks like super smoky and heavy-handed and then i just got over it and i don't feel like wearing false lashes right now so now my eye makeup just looks a little weird so we can ignore that just in like the chill decorate mood i don't feel like putting on false lashes so 
it is what it is. So as you can see, tree is up. This is just the pre-lit flocked Christmas tree from King of Christmas, what's it called? I'll link it down below. I had the same one last year. I love it, it's amazing, it's beautiful. I don't have anything else on it yet, so I literally just plugged it in and turned it on. I have my Target tree skirt right here from last year. So last year I did like a fully white tree. This year I wanna do amber, gold, and black, which I think is gonna look really pretty. So you will see the majority of the things I bought were those colors. So let's just start off with which one is this? CB2. So you can see like the vibe I'm going for with the ornaments. And I have to say, CB2 I will probably never order from online again because the packaging was horrendous. Like I got six ornaments and two other small things and it came in this massive box with like way too much bubble wrap. So if you have a CB2 by you, I would just go in store. But first off, I got these black kind of like marbled ornaments. I liked that these were black because I feel like marble ornaments are common but not black ones. I want to say these were like three or four bucks each or something or maybe they came in a pack of six. I can't remember but I got six of these. I think these ones were actually from West Elm. I'm gonna have everything linked down below so you can just click the link. These are like the star of the show because they're like the amber colored ones. So I have these two and then my opaque white ones from last year. And then last year I put these like big white flowers in the tree which really helps fill it up. I might try and get some kind of like gold flower or maybe like a black one would look really cool. I don't know. I need to get something else like some other kind of ornaments for the tree. So last year this was my tree topper, this super pretty silvery one. This was from CB2, actually, last year. And this year I picked up a similar guy, but gold. This one is very heavy. It's like a very heavy brass situation. This one was from CB2. It's a little bit smaller, actually, but with the gold theme, I figured this one would be good. I thought about spray painting this, but I want to keep it for like next year or the year after if I end up going back to like a silvery white theme. So I still love that one, but just wanted to update. I kind of wish I got a couple more of these because they're super pretty, but this was from CB2. It's their Betty tea light holder. So you can just put a little tiny candle in here, a little tea light. And I actually have one similar to this from Dollar Tree that's on my coffee table little thing right here. I'm decorating my coffee table, coffee cart, and the mantle. So any little things like this, I'll just kind of like move around and see what works and what I want to put where. I uh, got this bowl from CB2, definitely thought it was going to be a little bit bigger. It says it's large. This is the Trek Large Horn Bowl and uh, yeah, it's pretty tiny. But I was thinking I could put these little gold acorns I got off Amazon in here or just use it to put, you know, some kind of little snow thing or something in it. You guys will see I got lots of trees because I needed to get some gold ones. All of my trees from last year were like cool tones and whites and icy. This one is the glass brass tree medium size. Does it look a little, <laughs> looks a little slanted. Or am I imagining that? Either way, very pretty. This will look really nice with the other trees I picked up from Home Goods, and this one was from CB2 as well. One more item from West Elm. This is gold glitter leaf like garland, and this looks extremely messy now that I'm looking at it. There's like glitter all over the inside of the bag, so this should be fun, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put this on the mantle with some garland that I have from last year. This wasn't cheap, it was 29 bucks, but garland usually isn't unless you get it on sale at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something. But actually when I ordered this, I'm pretty sure West Elm was having like a 20% off holiday sale, so I think I actually got this stuff for a little bit cheaper. I swear glitter is seeping out of that bag. So let's move on to what I got at Home Goods. By the way, I always forget that Linwood, since is outside of Seattle, they still do plastic bags. Next time I'll bring reusable bags. I totally didn't because I didn't think I was gonna be shopping that day. I thought I was filming a different video. But anyways, so this is a very tall candle holder from Home Goods that was $16.99. I loved the black and gold, and I basically just wanted something to add a ton of height because on the coffee cart, I love the look of different stacked heights with like candles and trees. Like if you stacked the gold tree next to the super tall candle holder and then had something smaller next to it, it just looks really nice with different heights. So to go on top of this guy, I got this just off-white candle, it's $5.99. Smells like baby powder, it says it's sandalwood. These are always hard ordering online when you don't know the size of the thing. So anytime I get something like this from Home Goods, I always try and find a candle on the same day. One of my favorite finds, I found this at the checkout little area thing. They always get you there right when you're walking to checkout. This was only $9.99. I friggin love this tree. It has the perfect, like, it's looking more pink on camera, actually. It looks very peach, but in real life, it's like an off-white with kind of rose gold balls on it. Next to 
gold mixed in with like some amber and stuff. This is gonna look super cute. If you don't want one this big, they also had a smaller sized one that I was kind of debating between. Another tree. I just love stacking these, like I said, and like staggering them looks really nice. I tried to get different heights, but it's always hard to tell when you're not putting them like right next to each other. But this one is friggin' beautiful. I love how it like reflects the light. This one was only $14.99 and it is just gorgeous. This is so beautiful. It's like the mercury glass cracked kind of look. This was $9.99, which I feel like is a good deal for this giant of a candle holder. You could put like pine cones or something in here. Wow, I feel like I'm getting like a weird echo. What's happening? Whoa, whoa. You could, wow, this is so weird. When I talk at a certain angle with this thing, it's like echoing through my ears. You could put pine cones in here from outside or ones that you buy. Also a little hack, if you don't wanna fully buy like tons of pine cones and fill up a whole jar, you can always put just like tissue paper or a filler like paper or something at the bottom and just crumple it up and then put the pine cones at the top since it's not clear and you're not gonna be able to see anyways. I can't remember if I got this candle to put in there or if I was gonna just put this separate. I really liked the amber color on the outside and it's always good to do like different tones so as you can see, this one's a little bit darker and like orangier and just kind of more mellow. So I think I am just gonna keep this candle out, but this one was $12.99, which is a really good deal for this massive of a candle. It's the Midnight Woods scent. I feel like this one smelled like fall, but I don't really remember. Oh no, smells like, smells like very casual tree, like a little bit of balsam, but a little bit of just nothing. <laughs> Moving on to World Market, they had a really cute stuff. I only got a couple things there because, I don't know, I just did. But how friggin' cute is this little house? I was debating between these two and then I just ended up getting both of them because I figured I could put them in different places. But I loved this one because of the color and also it looks really gingerbready. And then this one is just like the cutest friggin' little like A-frame cabin looking kind of thing. I love the moose head thing up there and I just thought this was adorable. Both of these I think were $14.99 and both of these actually light up. They have LED lights in here. This is super random, but this is the cutest idea. So this would be a good like gift idea too, just as like a trashy like stocking stuffer kind of thing. But this is $3.99 and it's a coffee scooper, but it also has a clip right here. So you could clip it onto the outside of your coffee bag so it doesn't get stale and it keeps the coffee fresh, but then you also have the spoon and like the scooper just built in. Here are the little acorns that I got from Amazon. They look a little bit more, not like dull, well, yeah, a little bit more dull in real life, which I'm kind of fine with because I have a lot of like glitzy things kind of happening, you know? So it might be nice to just kind of like tone it down a little bit, but they are a little bit more dull than I was picturing, but I'll have these linked down below too, but these are from Amazon. I thought this candle was beautiful, the outside of this with the black and gold. This is winter golden pine. Smells very piney, super piney. This was from Ross. Oh, I didn't say that. Now we're moving on to Ross. This was $7.99 from Ross. Ross didn't have a whole lot of stuff, but I found like just a couple small things. So I got that candle. Whoa, there's a crap ton of glitter. What was that from? Somehow there's like a pile of glitter on here. This is a pajama set. This was $22.99, $22 but I do really like it. It's a pajama set that's just leopard. I just thought this would be cute. Is this even my size? Why did I get this? It comes with the pants too. That's everything that I got from this year. I'm gonna show you guys my stuff from last year and then maybe we'll start kind of decorating this stuff right now. I'm not gonna touch the tree yet. I'm gonna wait until my boyfriend comes over and we're gonna do that together. But I'm gonna decorate the rest of the stuff with you guys. So here's a pile of my Christmas stuff from last year that I brought out of storage. This is a wreath that I actually showed making in a vlog last year. It was like a spring wreath that I just kind of transformed and I DIY'd and just put these things in. So last year, this was hanging up over here. Here's the coffee cart situation right now. I am gonna switch out the bow for, I think a gold bow just to go with the theme or maybe a black bow would look really cool. Ooh, a black bow would look nice. It needs to be like fluffed out a little bit because it was kind of smushed in storage. So I am gonna need to add some kind of gold or warm tones into here. These were the flowers that I put into the tree last year. So just to give you an idea, this is such a good hack to like fill up the space in your tree. It makes it look so much more full, especially if you fill it in like in some of the gaps and stuff. Also the tree needs to be fluffed. We literally just stacked it and I haven't really touched it yet. I have this bag of fake snow left from last year. And then here is a storage container. Home Depot has the best storage containers and they usually put them on sale too. 
at the end of like different seasons. Okay, so here's what we're working with. I don't even remember what I have. I haven't opened this yet. I got this table runner, which is super cute and will definitely work for this year because of the gold, so that's great. These are all of my ornaments, so I have them in this storage container, which is really nice because it keeps them from breaking. I have some cotton ball things. I love using these for the mantle, it looks really cute. And then I just have some wood beads that I had on the mantle last year. So I think I'm just gonna lay everything out so I can see it and then start moving stuff around and figure out where I want stuff to go. This is a cake like topper thing. Have some more white trees down here. Maybe I'll do white in my bedroom actually. This little house is from Target last year. I had this on the mantle. Since it's silver, probably won't put this out here this year, but maybe I'll put this in my bedroom. I'm probably gonna need to get a couple more gold things now that I'm looking at everything. I thought I had some kind of garland for the mantle, but I have no idea where that went. Maybe I just put fake snow there last year. I swear I had some kind of like leafy thing, but maybe not. Instead of putting the table runner on my dining table this year, I'm actually going to put this on the coffee table and make like a really cute spread on the coffee table instead. By the way, if you see trash in boxes and stuff, it's because we had lots of unpacking happening in here. <laughs> Okay, so a few days later I ended up taking a trip to Michael's. If you have a Michael's craft store by you, I highly recommend. They had such cute stuff and basically everything was like half off. They had tons of cute ornaments. I ended up getting those pearl ones I just showed, which you guys will see. I'm gonna do another haul in a second. But they had some really pretty tan and like glittery ornaments, super cute mugs, and just some like more classic looking kind of decorations. I wanted to go there to get some gold pieces for the wreath. So the resection, as you can see right here, was pretty picked through already, but they had a few gold things left, so I picked up a couple of these, but just really pretty like glittery things that you can basically like DIY a wreath with. And if you don't want to make your own, they obviously had some pre-made ones right here. And then I also was looking at the floral section to see if there was any kind of gold or black rose or flower that I could put into the tree like I did last year, just to add some like fullness. This really helps if you have kind of like a more not, uh what's the word like not super full tree put in these big flowers the white ones look super pretty and it just really helps i was kind of debating if these would be cool to stick in the tree and then i thought maybe it'll look a little bit too witchy so i did end up getting another one that you guys will see but these might look cool like it might look like icicles kind of or something but i did not end up picking those ones up i did get a different one though and overall highly recommend my goals uh, they had some really good sales going on too. Really cool like garlands and stuff too. They had tons of garland options and all of them were like 10 bucks. If you have kids or you just like DIYing stuff, they had tons of do-it-yourself kind of little projects too. How freaking cute is this sign? I did end up getting this and now I'll do the haul and show you guys what I got. Okay, so I just got back from Michael's. It is like 10 p.m. right now, I think. There was no one in the store. It was amazing. I love shopping at night when there's like no one there. But I figured I would show you guys really quick what I got. Just like the last few things that I wanted to get to finish up this decor. And it's a few days later from when I filmed the rest of this video. I got some ornaments and some really cute stuff. So let's just dig in. Literally everything was almost 50% off. So this actually wasn't in the Christmas section. It was in just the normal florals, but I thought this might look cool if I cut these off and kind of like stick them into the tree to like fill in certain parts. And I thought it'd look like little snowball things kind of. And if it looked weird on the tree, I figured I could put it anywhere else for decor, like on the coffee table thing or on the mantle or wherever. 
And this was $6.99. I think this was the one thing that wasn't on sale, but I did have a 50% off coupon. So then I got these ornaments, which I thought were such a unique color. They're like a creamy kind of tan, and these were half off, so five bucks for these glass ornaments. And my ornaments on my tree from last year, the white opaque ones, are from Michaels, and I really like them. So I love the color of these. I think these will go really nice. This will kind of tie in like the white with the amber kind of colors we have happening. This is a great tripod situation. I want to redo the wreath because I have a red bow on it right now and it's like the whites and silvers from last year so I want to make it more gold so I got a few things for the wreath. I think I'm going to try and like DIY a big giant bow thing. These things are super glittery like the glitter falls everywhere but for the wreath I got these little things to stick in just some gold glittery leaves. I'm going to try and put you on something else. Okay that's a little better. So all the wreath stuff was super picked through so I feel like a lot of people are like DIY in the wreaths right now but then I got these super cool little globe string lights they're like gold globes and these were also half off so they were six bucks and these I thought would look super cute kind of wrapped around stuff on the coffee table all lit up I don't know if I got enough of these there's only 10 so I'm hoping that'll be long enough to put on the coffee table I was thinking about getting a second one but I figured I could always go back if I need to and then I got some really pretty ornaments. So I got three of these like beautiful pearled ones. How pretty those are. And with the other kind of ball shape thing, I think it might look cool. These were also half off, so they were $3.50. And then I got a few things that are like DIY that you can paint. I'm actually gonna use a wood stain on these. So all these were half off, so they were a dollar each. And I have a ton of wood stain left over from just like different DIY projects I've done. So I thought these would look really cute with like a really warm wood colored stain on them on the tree. I just thought it would look really like homey. And I loved that this one had the like wood mark on it. I don't know how I feel about this one, but Thought it would be cute just for this year maybe i don't know if i'm gonna put this on but 2019 was a good year by the way great year loved it so i've never been able to find a nutcracker that i like the look of so i figured why don't we just diy it so this was 15 dollars, also half off so 750 i don't know if i'm gonna do either all black or i might do like some stain and then some black i might do this in a different video like stain all these so you guys can see how I do that. I'm also vlogging right now. I have this like ongoing vlog from literally like the last like three weeks. So maybe I'll include it in that video. Oh, I forgot I got these. I think I was debating. Well, I guess we got them. I was debating because these are mini, but these were $10 so $5 on sale. And they're just really pretty sparkly gold amber ones. But I think I wasn't sure if these were gonna look weird on the tree because they're really tiny, but I really like the look of different sizes. I have a mini tree in my bedroom too, so maybe I'll put it on those. And then I got this super cute mug. I love this little, I think it's a deer, right? Yeah, right here, yeah. That has like eyelashes. I thought this was so cute. This was $3.50. Gotta love a sale, am I right? And then I got this frame, last thing, all the frames were half off too. I'm gonna put like a photo in here for my boyfriend. I don't think he's watching this video, hopefully not. So that is, I think everything I got. Actually, that was a really good deal for like everything I got. Oh wait, no, I got one more thing. This is so freaking cute, this sign. This was normally $30, but I got it for 15, half off. I don't love the red because I'm trying to like avoid the red theme, but I might actually paint over that and just do my own like black stripes, which I thought would look really cool. Or I'll just keep the red and suck it up, I don't know. But yeah, super cute stuff. I'm excited to put these on the tree. So I'm gonna decor it up and figure out a place to put all this stuff. And then I'll show you guys the final decorations. Also, if you wanna see how I like style everything more, definitely check out my Instagram, it's Taylor Wynn. I do monthly giveaways on there, mostly for like makeup, skincare stuff, but I also post like home decor stuff, more lifestyle content. I love taking home photos, so you guys will definitely see lots of decor photos on my Instagram and lots of Christmas holiday e content. So I just tried to make the bow. <laughs> Here's the first attempt. I mean, not horrible considering the YouTube tutorial I watched. The craft lady had a bow stencil. I do not understand who has a bow stencil. Like, I feel like we need a tutorial for the average Joe just trying to use their two hands here. She used like a needle and thread too to like put the middle thing through. So I ended up like improvising. It's okay, you know. I'm kind of regretting my decision to not get the $15 Michaels bow, but what can you do? I'm gonna try one more, I think. Yeah.